Fender wita Was na targach NAM Show 2015. Stoimy w miejscu, które jest głównym punktem tegorocznej ekspozycji i pokazuje serię American Standard, która jest główną linią produktów gitarowych Fendera. American Standard jest serią, która spełnia wszystkie wymogi klientów. Jest produkowana w Ameryce i nadal Nadal ponad 140 czynności jest robionych ręcznie. To pokazuje, jak ważna jest ręczna praca w produkcji gitar. Na stoisku widać elementy, które składają się na gitarę. Mamy niewykończone gryfy, niewykończone korpusy. To wszystko jest produkowane nieopodal. My znajdujemy się w Anaheim. Fabryka Fendera znajduje się w Koronie w Kalifornii, około pół godziny jazdy stąd. Fender i Seria American Standard jest e, tak znana e, klientom, jak e, chociażby e, Włochy znane są z produkcji sportowych aut, a Szwajcaria z produkcji doskonałych zegarków. E, dlatego e, tę cechę amerykańskich instrumentów podkreślamy w tym roku. Nam Show 2015 to pierwsza targowa okazja, żeby pokazać Visual Merchandising Display. Sposób ekspozycji gitar Fender, który będzie standardem dla wszystkich dealerów Fendera na całym świecie. Dealerzy w Polsce już prezentują gitary w ten sposób, dając klientom prostsze drogi do wyboru instrumentu, których ich interesuje. Is uh, the new FSR program that we've got for 2015. We have 10 limited guitars. Start here with the American Vintage Hardtail Strat. So, 70s Strat, large headstock, strung through the body, obviously gives it a, a different feel to a normal Strat. We have the American Standard Blackout Stratocaster. So not only has it got a metallic black body, but it's also got an ebony fretboard. The American Standard HH Telecaster with block binding, uh, block inlays. So just our normal HH Standard Tele. The oiled American Standard Ash. So super thin finish on it. Lovely and nice and light and resonant. Real spanky tone to it. A double cut Telecaster, so 52 Tele, uh, but with uh, two cutaways on it, kind of unusual. The reclaimed uh, Redwood 50s Telecaster, so last year we did uh, a strap in reclaimed Redwood, and this year we're doing a Tele, and we're giving it this nice deep stain. It's got a humbucker in the neck, wide range humbucker. Nice thick chunky neck on it. American Vintage. Then we've got the American Deluxe Mahogany Strat HSS. With the, equipped with the Shaw Bucker. We'll talk about that in a minute. But not often you see uh, mahogany on a strap. We've taken a couple of millimeters off of the body width uh, just to relieve the weight a little bit. But you wouldn't notice that that's any less thicker than a normal strap. Completely different tone going on. It's got noiseless pickups in the, in the, in the front and a shore bucker in the back. American longboard uh, strap, HSS. So uh, based on a, what they call a stringer on a surfboard where the, where the middle is uh, layered together. We've got lots of different woods in there. And again, another shore bucker in there and N3 noiseless pickups. Got this cool detail on the back. You can see right into the, to the electronics there. And again, strung through the body. Nice different tone there. It's a Carina. Uh, many rare guitars made of Carina. So we thought we'd uh, do a regular 
vintage 50s telly with uh, with a Carina body on it. So regular American vintage 50s telly and Carina. And then Mustang, it's going to be the 50th anniversary of the Mustang this year. This competition stripe is laid all the way through the body. This is completely solid here. Strung through the body again for a bit more resonance, a bit more spank. P90s, hardtail. And that's it, 10 very special guitars of 2015. Hi there, my name is Rick Hines. I'm the product development manager for Fender Electronics. And I'm here to talk to you today at NAMM 2015 about the Michael Landau Hot Rod DeVille. Michael Landau is one of those guitarist guitarists. Uh, when he changes a pedal on his pedal board, everyone sells out of those because he's a tone connoisseur and he knows great tone. So when we started working with him, we realized that Michael was actually using a Hot Rod DeVille on the road uh, for several year years actually. And we got to thinking, you know, what could we do to refine it to more of his personal taste? So what we did is, uh, firstly, is we've actually removed the overdrive circuit that's in the DeVille. That makes it a little bit more tonally pure. It makes the circuit a little more simple and brings out the cleans of the amplifier. Uh, Michael tends to like to use pedals to get his overdrive and other effects. So by doing that, he's got this big, rich, clean sound that he can use and then he can use his pedals to get overdrive and delay. Uh, by doing that, you actually have two separate inputs or volumes on the amplifier. That way you can set volume one and volume two differently. So if you're doing a rhythm, you start with volume one, you hit the button for volume two, you can boost that sound a little bit more. The great thing about volume two is it has a boost channel as well. So once you hit that, you actually add a little bit of grit to the sound. So if you're doing uh, solos or leads, that'll actually cut through the mix really, really well. Uh, the other thing that he wanted was a different speaker. And with this amplifier, he found that his favorite speaker to pair with it is actually the Celestion V-Type speaker. V-Type we've used in the 68 Custom line uh, with great results and he loved the great bottom end and the ability that when he uses overdrives it crunches very nicely. So combining those two things along with a, a more sturdy rugged leather strap and hand soldering the uh, speaker jack makes it much more rugged for the road. So combining all these things make it a, makes it a very adaptable and a great sounding amp. So you put those together, you put it with Michael Landau's hands and some pedals and you've got yourself world renowned tone. So having this come out for 2015 is great. They should be shipping in March. And uh, you have to try one out today because the tone is unbelievable.